Hey family, and welcome back to I Love Me, Me, Me. So today I'm going to talk to you about the 10 phrases that are absolutely killing your relationship. I mean, we think that all of us think that sticks and stones will break our bones, but words will never hurt us. But that is an absolute lie because words can actually destroy someone, especially when these phrases and words are coming from our partner. So stay tuned for what these 10 phrases are that are absolutely going to kill your relationship, especially if you're already using them and you do not stop. Stay tuned. All right, fam, so these are the 10 phrases that you absolutely want to stay away from, especially if you want your relationship to work. So the very first one is, that's so stupid. Yeah, that's a killer. Saying that so stupid can actually destroy a person's worth. Just think about it. As soon as you say that's so stupid, what does your partner usually do? They usually get silent, don't they? Or maybe they retaliate and say that you're stupid too. But mainly they're doing all of that because you have just taken a piece of them and slowly have started to destroy their self-worth. So stay away from that so stupid. The second one, this is mainly for men, but women do this too, but mainly my men, okay? <laughs> are you really wearing that yeah she put it on because she thought she looked good in it and yes she wanted to wear it but because you said those words you're actually destroying her confidence none of us like our confidence destroyed we absolutely want to always look good for our mate and especially when we're going out with our mate so saying are you wearing that or are you really wearing that i mean i thought i looked good until i came in here with you the third one that you want to stay away from that's it we're breaking up this absolutely plants a seed of insecurity in your partner i actually did a video about you know basically saying that we're going to break up or always being the one to threaten that you're going to break up i'll absolutely link that video to this one of course at some point it's going to be above and definitely down in the description box below so go ahead and check out that video but you want to stay away from this particular phrase absolutely that's it we're breaking up stay away from that phrase the next one that you want to stay away from i'll tell you how you feel I'm sorry, what? What you mean you don't tell me how I feel? <laughs> yeah, that's the way I feel if somebody would ever tell me that, which is not happen, but it actually invalidates your partner's feelings when you say that. I'll tell you how you feel. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? How you gonna tell me how I feel? No, sir, you can't tell me how I feel. I tell you how I feel. But stay away from that. Stay away from that deadly, toxic phrase. I'll tell you how you feel. The fifth one to stay away from. It's all your fault. This actually tells you that your partner do not like to take responsibility for their own actions. And that is a super red flag. Number six. You're actually nothing like, insert the ex's name right here i just did a video if you are over your ex so if you need to check out that video go ahead and check out that video this one actually adds doubt to your partner and actually makes them feel inadequate as well when you tell them that they are nothing like your ex boy bye <laughs> girl bye <laughs> that's the way that I feel because if you are comparing me to that person you are obviously not over your ex again go ahead and check out that video of course it is down in the description box below the next one that you want to stay away from is you're doing that all wrong I mean because this adds nothing helpful to the situation like zero 
Zero helps. <laughs> you also have to wonder as the person that's saying this, that your way is not the only correct way out there to do something. So if you're not being helpful and bringing something to this situation or what I'm doing, then you can just zip it because I don't need your help. And I definitely don't want to be criticized about how wrong I'm doing it because in order to get from point A to point B, it's not always a straight line. It's not always your way. I can do it my way and still get to point B. The next one is should. When you're using the word should, whether you should be doing something this way or shouldn't be doing something because it actually adds a negative connotation, okay? And it actually shows some type of judgment that you're putting in there as well. You should be doing or you shouldn't be doing. Anywho, the ninth thing to think about, the phrase that you absolutely should stay away from is... It's either me or, and that is an ultimatum. And when you put ultimatums out there, it's because you're trying to control the situation. And guess what? Most of the time when you put ultimatums out there, you end up losing because the other person wants to freely choose to do what they want to do. That could be choosing between you and another guy or you and another girl. Choosing to go here or not go there. Choosing to do something that you don't want them to do versus them actually, again, choosing to do it versus if you do that, then I'm going to do. That's not the way the relationship works. So anytime you try to give an ultimatum, you're trying to control the situation. And it also shows your insecurity and your trust level that you have, or I should say lack of trust level that you have for your spouse as well. Don't give ultimatums. They usually hardly ever work. And even if they work for a short period of time, that person will rebel eventually and go back to doing it the way that they want to do it because it wasn't not their choice. You chose for them and they were trying to appease you. So they decided to do that thing. But really in their heart of hearts, they don't want to do that thing. So they want to do their thing. And that's what actually ends up happening anyway. The 10th phrase that I want you to stay away from, especially if you want your relationship to work out, is I hate you. Like, you know how you say that when you get ticked off because it actually poisons the relationship. That is like super toxic. It's a very super toxic thing that you can say to your spouse. And guess what? They will never forget that. And your relationship will end for sure. It's just a matter of time. So fam, those are the 10 phrases that I want you to stay away from, especially if you want the relationship that you are currently in or any future relationship. Maybe one of your relationships actually ended because you were using phrases like this, but you had no idea why the other person walked away. Again, there are a plethora of phrases out there, but these were the 10 that caught my eye. If you are using these phrases and you truly want your relationship to work, you need to stop.